wrestling, six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the blue corner, the official British heavy middleweight champion, Mark And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, in the opposite corner, Clive Myers, the Thank you, Fred Barnes, and the winner of this final of six five-minute rounds, two falls to the side, goes to meet Marty Jones, the light heavyweight champion of Great Britain in the Northgate Arena, Chester, on television in June. And we'll be seeing that, of course, I don't know what date it is, but sometime in June. Rocco now versus Myers as to who goes forward to meet Marty Jones. Take it away, round one. And here we go for round one of six rounds, two falls to the side. By the way, Rocco came in the ring then, incidentally, it was um, that silver jacket reminded me of uh, the Hells Angels. Incidentally, Adrian Street, who I apparently said something about uh, retiring, of course I didn't, he's not retired at all, he's just not working for joint promotions at the moment, that's all. Rocco versus Myers, and this could be an exciting final, eh, Mick? Well, if they move around in this match like they did in the preliminaries, we're in for a real humdinger. I think that uh, Maxwell would have had a pretty easy job in the last uh, match, but I think he's under his work cut out in this one. I'll see him than me. If Rocco just keeps to the rules of it, because Myers will if, if, uh, if he's not tempted to retaliate. Yes, nicely over the top, Myers gets anywhere avoiding those feet, waiting for him for a monkey climb. Just avoided it by six inches there. It's the second landing he's taken this afternoon, my God. But that follow-up, surely. Crowd doesn't like it, and the referee, certainly a definite private one. Well, a couple of chops on the side. And, oh, yes, missed time it. And over the top for a close press, and Myers, he's got it. The first one to Myers in round one. And it took him just one minute, 48 seconds. Into the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, in one and a half minutes of the first round, first ball in favor, Clive Miles, the Iron And a happy man and a happy crowd. So a public warning in the interval to Mark Rocco and beefing at somebody, and Myers gets the first fall. Mick, what a great move, huh? Well, that was right out of the blue, wasn't it? That was very quickly done. As a matter of fact, I thought Myers landed very awkwardly in that, uh, during that round. He went down in the air pretty high, and he came down very awkwardly. As a matter of fact, I thought he wasn't going to get up, but uh, he got up and he got the fall, so there you are. One to go, and that's it. He's home and dry. So... Five Myers leading Rocco by one fall and ill. Round two coming up. Now, can Rocco come back into this fairly? He's got one public warning against him already in that interval. And surely punches, surely punches. Referee is still thinking from his side that they could have been punch but not sure about it not sure enough to deliver a public warning Mark Rocco coming off the middle rope but not high enough for him trying the middle rope again oh, 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 oh. he really goes a little haywire when he gets his man on the back this Mark Rocco Take it beautifully, Myers. Took that hand, that arm, that wrist. Beautiful. What a, an arm roll. Superb timing. And another arm roll. Beautifully done. 
Not much karate at the moment from Ryers, but oh, taking Rocco for speed at least as fast as Rocco. Remember Myers giving away a couple of stone here. One fall up and at least holding his own in the second round. So it's a quarter Nelson from me. Well, the crowd that side didn't like that kick and they like that one even less. A headbutt against Clay Myers will worry him too much. Very close drop kick, both feet landing, and Rocco sliding out of the ring intentionally to get out of the way. And off the top rope this time, onto Myers' chest. One public warning against Rocco, amazingly enough, only one so far. And that was surely with the hair. Got in first that time, Myers deflected that forearm beautifully. It's Myers off the top this time, taking Rocco all the way down on the cross press. Can he get a 2 0 win here? No. Nope. Two minutes to go in the second round, and nearly a 2 0 win for Myers there. Some of the job's trying to hold him up there. Hoping to slow it down a bit. I don't blame him. And a reverse posting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another drop kick. Well, what a fight this is turning out to be. Complaints from Rocco. But complaining that time to the ringside seaters, I think. Now, exactly where that fingertip is. Is it in the mouth? Very near it. The other hand's merely there to cover, so that Max Ward has to check. And the headband's gone. Myers' headband gone. Just one minute to go in the second. Checking the nose for blood, Myers, but now another one. That's heel of the wrist, heel of the hand, says uh, Rocco. Oh, quick, very quick. Punch. I thought they like a punch from here. What about you at home? I'm sure you thought that was a punch tip. Less than half an hour. Now he released his man so he shouldn't follow up and Mark Rocco making a meal of it. Just just eight seconds to go in the second round. And the bell now, and Mick McManus, what do you think of that second round? Well, it had everything, didn't it? I've never seen Diane Fist or Myers wrestle better. I think he'd become inspired this afternoon. Whatever Rocco does, he does better. Rocco goes fast, he goes faster. He does kicks, he kicks fast. It, it, it's, a, it's a really amazing uh, match, this. It's certainly what we expected, and it certainly lived up his ex ex expectations, even more so. And if uh, Iron Fist carries on like this, he's going to win this match. He's going to get the Biggest match with Marley Jones. Yes, I would like to see Clive Myers take on Marty Jones. That would be a, quite a difference in weights, too, but it would be a great match for Tony like it is this one this afternoon. So. Yeah. Yeah. Round three starting off a little slower, naturally, but remember Myers still leading. One public warning against Rocco. And lucky to have only given one, I think. 
But he's got the headband on again anyway. He picked that up from the canvas, so he's back fully dressed in his gear. That won't do Rocco any good at all, this man facing the wrong way. It's just going to hold him there for a little breather, that's all. Now he's trying to turn it. Looking over with the back elbows, and there it is. Now he's turned. Comes to the stomach, unsighted across the left. He wasn't unsighted with that. Not sufficient to deliver another public warning, though, apparently. Takes him over with perfect timing on his feet. Trying it again, that rope very slack. And back over the ropes he goes, and oops, I, that was not a good landing at all. Across the apron, and I don't like the look of that one at all. Ay, ay, ay. And again, I think we're going to have to call on the St. John's Ambulance boys. Fred Downs getting in the ring. It, it's all over. Didn't, he failed to beat the count, of course, but the question is, how bad is he? Anyway, it's a knockout win to uh, Rocco. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee has had to stop the contest in favor of the champion. The crowd don't like that too much, Mick. No, I've got to be and fair. I thought Rocco was very lucky, and I think no one was more relieved than him to see Myers not get back in. Well, thank you. Thank you, Fred Downs, and with that knockout win, unfortunate for Myers, the all being looked after by St. John's Ambulance Man. It's time to say goodbye from all of us here, and on behalf of Mick McManus and myself, it's goodbye from Catford. Have a good week. Till next week.